Hey YouTubers, it's Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we're going to walk you through on how to properly and safely remove your new tone bathroom ceiling fan cover or panel, whatever you want to call it. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers, inside the bathroom now, and we purchased this house about three weeks ago, and by the looks of it, it doesn't look like the previous owner cleaned this vent, and we're going to do a couple different things. We're going to clean the surface of this vent, as well as pull it down, remove this plastic vent cover from its connection points, and we're gonna clean the internal portion of the fan, where the fan motor is. And I'm going to be real with you YouTubers, these vent fans or blower fans are supposed to last a long time. However, if you, the homeowner, fail to take care of it, it's going to fail a lot sooner than it should. So with that said, as you can see, the previous owner did not take good care of this and that is a lot of dust buildup and what happens over time is all this dust gets in the way and decreases the air ventilation in and through the vent and decreases the amount of airflow that the fan motor requires for proper ventilation thus your fan motor will overheat and take abuse that it's not supposed to take and ultimately causing the fan motor to die prematurely all right youtubers we grabbed our dyson vacuum we put a brush tip on it and that's going to help break up all that dust buildup All right, YouTubers, as you can see, it didn't get all the dust. It's pretty caked down there, probably because, again, it has never, ever been cleaned. So what we'll do now is remove this cover. All right, YouTubers, you'll notice I'm wearing rubber gloves, and I'm wearing these because you get a lot better grip when you pull this down. You can go one side or the other or both at once. And now it's hanging by the internal prongs. And you're not going to be able to see this one, but I'm going to pinch the two prongs together and pull these prongs down. And again, the way that works is pinching these two together, it allows it to be released from the upper latch inside. Take a look right here. That's a better view of it. Compress the two prongs and pull it down. And I will set this in a safe location. And right up here, this is your electrical plug. Carefully unplug it because we are going to be vacuuming this internal portion and we want to cut all electrical power to this system for safety purposes. All right, YouTubers, I got the plastic cover on the countertop and I'm going to just spend a little bit of time and vacuum both sides of this cover. After vacuuming both sides of the cover panel, I've come back up top. Again, safety first, unplug your system and spend a little bit of time and vacuum the entire inner portion of this insert. And you want to get as much of that dust off there as possible, but you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to damage any of this system while you're vacuuming. From here, now we'll carefully plug the Connection point back into the upper outlet there, and we'll go grab the cover panel. All right, YouTubers, again, these inner slots are where you connect your prongs when you compress them. As you can see here, compressing them, and carefully insert those tips in that slot. And you will do this for both sides. Once they're in, it'll hang like that and carefully push the cover panel back in place and center it how you want it. That's it, YouTubers. Hopefully this helps. Again, cleaning it will extend the life of your blower motor. So do us a favor, blow the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. Thanks again for watching.